Hey beautiful, today I'm going to be showing you guys the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe. They're crispy on the outside and soft and gooey in the middle. In a large mixing bowl, add in the melted butter, brown sugar, and white sugar. Now use a whisk or an electric mixer if you have one and mix all these ingredients together until it forms a paste and make sure that there are no lumps. And as with all my videos, you can find the recipes in the description box below along with metric and standard measurements. I'll also be including the replacements in case you don't have some of these ingredients on hand. And this is what it should look like after about a minute of mixing these ingredients. Now crack in the egg and add the vanilla extract. Mix again, and I know that a whisk does require more muscle work, but hey, at least we get our arm workout for the day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome! I post new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe. Sift in the all-purpose flour and the baking soda. This will make sure that the dough isn't heavy and dense, and it'll also make sure that there are no lumps in the dough. Now if you have a spatula, go ahead and switch over to it. If you don't, then you can just continue to use a whisk or an electric mixer. Just make sure that you fold in all the ingredients together until it forms a cohesive dough. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this next part is the best thing about every single chocolate chip cookie recipe. So add in your chocolate chip and then fold it in so that the chocolate chips are well distributed in the dough. I promise I'm not trying to torture you here, but we're gonna be refrigerating this dough overnight. It just does wonders to the flavor, and if you have no self-restraint, I totally get it. You can bake these cookies off right away. So if you do choose to refrigerate the dough, make sure that you roll them out into balls beforehand, because if you try to do it after they chill, it's gonna be much harder. You can use either an ice cream scoop or your hands to roll the dough into balls. This recipe calls for around 10 to 12 cookies, so form the size of the balls accordingly. After the dough has been chilled, bake for about 15 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. The center might be a little underbaked, but it'll cook once it's cooled down completely. And if you don't want to bake all the cookies immediately, you can put them in the freezer for up to two weeks. Just make sure that you put it in a Ziploc bag or any other airtight container. I'm just writing out the date to the date that it's good until so that I don't accidentally eat expired cookies. Okay, and this is what our batch looks like fresh out of the oven, so wait for them to cool and then sprinkle on some sea salt on top. This is completely optional, but I think it adds so much to the cookie. That's it for this week's recipe. I hope you guys give it a try and let me tell you that you won't go back to any other recipe after trying these cookies. Stay safe and bye for now.